WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update and currently a slightly mixed bag out here. That mix is coming from the semis. They're down 32 points, about nine tenths of a percent. Otherwise, we get all the other U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 704. It wants higher price. The S&P wants is up 62 at 4600. It too wants higher price. The Nasdaq up 113. It too wants higher price. We'll go take a look at the short term time frame charts here momentarily just to show you what we're looking at out there. You've got gold is back $2. Silver's off 14 pennies. Lights we crude up $2.58. So let's go take a quick peek here. We'll go to our nine panel charts here momentarily. But first, we're going to go take a look at those short-term time frames. That way you can see what we're looking at. What we're looking at here are TD9 counts. The ES Mini in the upper left, it formed a TD9 count. That was confirmed at 1130 this morning. And as we were coming on the air, price had taken that level out. That suggests that price should continue to move higher. The same thing, we take a look at the NQ. The NQ took out the TD9 count top. It did it as we're coming on there at one o'clock. That suggests higher price. Same signal down here for the Dow Equity Future contract. So all three of those. Now the Russell is going to go ahead and form bar number nine of a TD9 count pattern. It will do that by 130. So between 130 and two, we could see the Russell 2000 pull back out there. But that's what's going on on the ultra short-term time frames. Let's go take a look at our nine-panel market update chart. And as we do that, uh, we got to get back to the black background. Let's go ahead and change screens here. The upper left, you see the ES Mini. The ES Mini, brand new profile that did form on Friday. The bottom of that profile is at 45.37. Last week, we know the bottom of the weekly at 45.04 held. This suggests to move up to 46.49. As long as the spot volatility continues to move lower, that is a likely outcome. It's still above the 50-day exponential moving average. It says any surprises would be to the downside out there. The NQ trying to form an A to B equals CD pattern. It, uh, you can see that it's already done the one-to-one, -one, but we're waiting to see if it can generate a bullish reversal candle. The U.S. dollar index is just consolidating with inside its daily profile between 95.66 and 96.94. Lights Recruit has also formed a new profile, 17.67.90 is the bottom of its profile or support, and 18.02.20 is resistance. Silver also forming a new profile with support at 22.27, resistance at 23.93. Lights Recruit just consolidating inside its profile out here. It's right now at a key level of resistance up at the 69.15 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge. If you're off to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks for being here. We look forward to seeing you soon.